So there was a guy named Trent Reznor. Any of y'all ever heard of Trent Reznor? Well, Trent Reznor, he was the founder and lead singer and songwriter for a, a rock band that was called uh, Nine Inch Nails. And he wrote a little song that was released for the first time April the 17th, 1995. And it was uh, included in their studio album, their, their second album, Downward Spiral. And the song, the song was nominated for a Grammy based on its merits. It was a heck of a song. It was a song about Trent's battles with suicidal tendencies and drug addiction. Which seem they seem like minor problems compared to having to go into ICU and having a lung transplant for some virus that's swarming around out here. But anyway, that was then, 1995. This is now. So Trent wrote the song about um, he wrote this song about uh, drug addiction and mental illness and suicidal thoughts. That's what he wrote the song about. And they deliberately, they deliberately um, kind of uh, technically messed up the recording. So it's very scratchy, it's very garbled. Well, I hope I'm back. <laughs> anyway, we were talking about Trent Reznor and he wrote this song about drug addiction and his suicidal tendencies. And, um, Nine Inch Nails recorded it on their second studio album, which was called Downward Spiral. And um, it was nominated for a Grammy, just on its merits. Even though they deliberately did a very rough job of recording it. Then in 2002, John Cash recorded the song. It was one of the last songs he ever recorded. And John Cash made it about a more common universal enemy that we all have, old age. And Trent Reznor said when he first heard the Johnny Cash rendition of his song, he said, I started to cry. In the first place, it was so much better than what he had done. But in the second place, he said, it was like losing a girlfriend. It was like losing a child. Having a child walk away or having a girlfriend leave you because he knew that from that point on that song was no longer his. That song belonged to John Cash. And I think um, down through history it always will belong to John Cash. So in memory of Johnny Cash, who was an old drinking buddy of my daddy at one time, they, they were in the cattle business together at Cash Wind Farms and Bashagia Farms, so <laughs> I have warm feelings toward Johnny Cash. I hurt myself today to see if I still feel I focused on the pain well that's the only thing that's real the needle tears a hole the old familiar sting tries to hide it all I remember everything you heard.
thorns upon my liar's chair filled with broken thoughts that I cannot repair beneath the cloak of time troubles disappear you are someone else I am still If I could start again a million miles away, I would hurt myself. I would find.